Good evening, YouTubers. This is Shindo. Tonight, I'm going to be talking about Trump and his pandering to the Christians again. Trump, the man who owns multiple casinos. Trump, the man who brought a titty bar to Atlantic City, who cheated on his wives and bragged about it in his books. The man who somehow, some way, has deceived enough Christians because Christians you are already deceived. He has deceived you into believing that you need to vote for him. Well, I think I've made it abundantly clear who I'm voting for. No one. And I would suggest anyone who has any decency, decency, the moral thing to do, is not to vote in this election. But back to Trump and this picture you can see here. Suddenly, Trump has found God slipping in the polls a little bit, aren't you? And then suddenly, he finds God, as you can see in this pic. This is from a Christian site called Charisma News, where faith and politics meet. Gee, I thought, I, I thought Christ said to be in this world and not of it, but, uh, you know, who am I? Who am I to, to, to say, right? There is little doubt the presence of Indiana Governor Mike Pence is having an impact on Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. By the way, this was yesterday. Following the image of the two men praying together that went viral earlier this week, another Pence-Trump moment is beginning to take the internet and social media by storm. It happened at the end of a town hall event in Roanoke, Virginia, during the late stages of the candidate's question and answer session with participants. Trump asked, how about one more question? And in the sea of voices, one man, Jesse Connors, a Liberty University graduate and founder of faith-based true life organization, can be heard asking, how can we be praying for you, quote unquote. It is clear that both Trump and Pence heard the question, and they were both eager to answer. Trump said, quote, give him a mic, because that's such a great question, unquote. With everyone able to hear him, Connors expressed his enthusiasm for the Trump-Pence campaign and asked his question again before leading everyone in attendance in prayer for the candidates. Quote, Lord, we thank you so much for what these men represent in this country. We thank you and your hand is upon them that they are called up and raised up for this time. We are asking right now that they will be able to stand firm against the vials of the enemy of God, against Satan. Now, you, you know a Christian can't make a prayer without mentioning Satan anymore. We live in a supernatural world. Look at this ball we're on. It's held down by gravity. Two inches closer to the sun and we'd all burn two inches further away, and we'd all freeze. We just ask right now, God, that we all humble ourselves and realize we are created, and we need your help and your support to make them the vessels that they need to stand up for freedom, the freedom you authored in our Constitution. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Unquote. Yes, the freedom that God authored in our Constitution, despite the fact that the people who wrote it were atheist and deist. But, whatever. Trump asked if Connors was a pastor and thanked him for the prayer. Quote, that's a great way to end this, unquote, he added. 
before thanking everyone for attending the event. He reminded them of the importance of voting on November 8th, particularly as it relates to the Supreme Court. Quote, the next president is going to appoint, appoint anywhere from two to five justices, he said. If you put the wrong people on, you're back to Venezuela, unquote. With all the chaos surrounding the presidential campaigns this past week, the brief moment has begun to spread like wildfire throughout social media. The video post to Facebook now has nearly 1.8 million views. Christians, you are the most gullible sheep who ever walked the face of the earth. You are incredibly stupid human beings. I really, really wonder how it is that you put your clothes on in the morning I, and, and get in your cars and drive. I, I don't... Do you really believe that this man is appointed by a just and loving, graceful God, the God that Christ spoke about in the Bible? Seriously? You believe that Donald Trump has been called by a good and just God? Well, Donald Trump has been called by your God, Christians, but your God is not the God that Christ spoke of in the New Testament. Your God is the Demiurge. I have spoken about this ad nauseum. I've spoken about Trump not being anything but a complete reprobate, but that doesn't get through to you. That's why I can't wait until he becomes president. And I can't wait until you're so thrilled, you Christians, about him being come president, because it won't be long. It won't be long before he turns on you. You can start with the Muslims. Then he's going to move to the Mormons, and then he's going to move to you. And I am going to watch it, and I'm going to just shake my head. I'm not going to be feeling glee the way you seem to think that you're going to be feeling glee when I am burning in hell. When you, uh, What you say is going to happen to my wife and I. I'm not going to be gleeful about it because I've done everything I can to get you to wake up to common sense. You have no, no spirit of discernment. Zero. Quite frankly, as I have said, you deserve everything you're about to get. And I... I have tried, I have tried, I have beaten my head against the wall trying. I've had it. I wash my hands of you. I am not seeking out any of you. I don't want your approval. I don't want your attention. I don't want anything from you. You are fools. You are gullible sheep. And you are about to be led to the slaughter. This is Shido. Have a good day. So this is how liberty dies. With thunderous applause.